uh, main moderator Sandra just mentioned, uh, have a smoothie, uh, have something else, a nice snack perhaps. Uh, I hope that you're all nicely uh, loaded up and ready to go for the discussion during the coffee break. Um, as Sarah and Sandra already mentioned, we are talking about cybersecurity and safe documentation innovations. Now, that is obviously quite a specific, but at the same time, very wide field. We will have three companies represented that will tell you more about what exactly they do and what kinds of innovations they bring uh, to the scene. Uh, so let's welcome on stage, first of all, the CTO of Lever ID, Sean Aries, the Director of Business Development of Serve Trace, Mohara Hassan, and CEO and founder of Avocado, Marianne Hamster. First, I think we have a small introductory video uh, so we can take a closer look at the companies. Lever ID provides a future ready, highly secure digital identity and signature platform. Their cutting edge product offers a single access point, whether remotely signing a contract, logging into your e bank, or even voting in your local elections. The Search Trace solution provides the blockchain powered document digitalization archiving and sharing technology. The idea for innovation originally came from the aviation industry, where paper certificates of conformity are still sent around the world along the entire supply chain. Avocado provides a digital workspace for contract lifecycle management that helps to save time and resources. Their developed solution helps to create and collaborate on documents from a single platform at every stage of document lifecycle. So, Sean, um, we've just heard a few snippets about, uh, about Lever ID, but I'm sure there is more to the story than two sentences. Perhaps you can fill us in. Yeah, thank you. Uh, again, my name is Sean Aries. I'm the CTO of Lever ID. And uh, our product, as was mentioned in the uh, video, is uh, our future-ready digital identity and signature signing platform. Uh, one of the other key technologies that we integrate into our service is uh, remote uh, identity validation, or in other terms, KYC, if you're more familiar with that term. Um, our technology utilizes a couple of really cool features that uh, don't exist in the space yet. Uh, we're utilizing a next generation encryption technology called the Edwards Elliptical Curve Map to create our digital identity solution. And uh, with that, partnered with our uh, remote identity validation solution, we're able to provide our product to currently around 158 countries around the world, which is uh, much more than the typical PKI infrastructure company that services about three to four countries or regions. So. Uh, our goal is to take the technology that has existed here in the Baltics and uh, bring it to the West Coast. Yeah. Very well. Um, we will move on to questions later, but perhaps first, uh, why don't you tell us more about Tracer? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm from Tracer, and I am in drug use development at Tracer, and uh, our product is Search Trace. So what we do basically is we use blockchain technology to digitize documents. But you know, we were like, why should we stay only there? So we're constantly innovating, and what we're doing now is basically we're putting our efforts into new technologies, which is uh, we're turning data graveyard to data soil. Well, what is that? Well, basically, what is that? It's our effort to make sense of data that's already there. It could be uh, like papers, it could be digital documents, it could be any kind of data. And that data is just screaming to tell some kind of story. The only thing we need is understanding. And but once, and once you understand it, then we can solve so many future problems uh, that by making better decisions, on-point decisions, and uh, being efficient and fast. So this is the thing that we're doing. And already, and also, uh, there's a big project going on at Horizon, uh, Horizon Project, and they're, they're also uh, looking forward to uh, towards new technologies that that, that are helping, that, that will help reduce carbon emission in the world. And I think our technology can help that get out by, by understanding the patterns, how can we do, how can we make better decisions? And if we make better decisions, then we, we, we will be more efficient. And once we'll be more efficient, there'll be automatically less carbon emission. So that's a very, uh, very roundabout way of looking at uh, all of these different aspects, uh, environmental and security as well, very interesting. 
Uh, Marianne, um, tell us more about Avocado. We want to see your founder, so you should know a bit or uh, one, one, one piece or two about uh, what they do. Uh, yeah, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Mariana Hoxer. Yes, I'm the founder of Avocado. And um, I mean, what we are bringing to the table, in addition to what the gentleman was just sharing here, is a new innovative document format. We, need, we see in our career that the um, world needs a paradigm shift. I mean, when we are working uh, with a connectivity, with a data uh, collaboration with different parties, then we have to support uh, also a uh, connected data layer, uh, the workflows, and we have to bring all this data uh, to uh, visible to all the content parties and help companies to be more efficient. So when uh, we are talking about new document format, it is a layer document format uh, where the other systems could top up their platforms there and companies in this uh, platform could uh, integrate uh, any system uh, to, uh, to understand the data there. So basically when we're making it a very practical example, uh, then uh, let's say uh, when I need to uh, manage uh, relationship in our revenue operation or in a people operation or legal operation. All these documents consist of different stages and a lot of data. And uh, when uh, we are just stepping from one stage to another, uh, then we have to give that also data connectivity, data integrity, and make this data scalable. So that every step we are taking further, either to the blockchain or uh, verify parties which come to that document, then we have to enable that. And that's what uh, we are solving in general, very, very much business operation and process related activities, but uh, it enables future uh, for the internet, for the digitalization, everything what's happening around AI, blockchain. <coughs> so that's, we see we are changing the paradigm just in the ground. It's uh, it's very nice that uh, this last panel here at the expo stage. Uh, sorry to uh, break those news to you. This is the last one. Um, it sort of brings us back to the core of trusted connectivity. Um, you know, having having the connections, having the flexibility, uh, the interoperability approach to to make sure that whatever solutions the client would like to provide, that that's a possibility. Before we delve into the here and now, I'd have to ask one quick question. To um, aviation history. What, what, like, wow. then that is the background of, of the company, as far as we understood from the introductory video. Um, of course, now you are promoting it as a as a more widely usable solution. How did you make that step? Well, the, the history is really interesting. So, uh, what happened was that when Bill Haller, the CEO of the company, he started uh, Tracer. So he says that when he started the company, he Tracer. Uh, or no, so the aviation company when he, when he worked up in that company then he says that he did not bought, bought the uh, aviation company when he bought a paper company because there was so much paper in there. So uh, imagine that. Uh, so, so then at, I think at that point the, the seed uh, was in his mind so then he was like okay now what can I do to make it better because there's a real problem there. He uh, was dealing with that and uh, so then he started tracing and uh, because of this uh, I, I, and I think because we have first, first hand experience, that's why we understand our clients even better. And, and that's why we're providing better solutions. And that's why every single day, it seems like we're improving really fast. More clients are happy with us, more good reviews. And by the way, I, I, I don't want to uh, uh, you know, spoil anything, but, uh, but we have big partners. We're talking with big people. And uh, in Estonia, I just uh, want to say this, that will be huge, it will be huge in, in a few months. You just, just, just wait and watch, yeah. Sounds promising. Um, perhaps one, one question that uh, always arises in my head when we talk about the adoption of new standards, as, as you mentioned also for Avocado, but also for Lever ID, quite, uh, quite relevant, I think, is um, the, the time that um, most people, and at the end of the day, companies, organizations, the public sector, of course, uh, they're run by people. Um, how how do you seek to sort of bridge that that gap and like speed up the adoption time of a new standard that you hope to set as a standard? What's the first? Yeah, um, it's a good question uh, because I mean uh, the 
biggest uh, thing we have to fight with that change and this change but should be a very natural in the businesses as well to adopt. So we shouldn't like change the like process and operation so much and it should this layer should be invisible to the company. So basically I mean, when we were hearing the talks in, in the expo area uh, yesterday as well, and we were talking uh, and hearing about blockchain, I mean, it should be for the end users invisible. So you don't feel like I'm mean, working with some kind of different format, which is totally new for us, but uh, it is making life so much easier. And, uh, and once you experience it and you see uh, that uh, you can, uh, use this data connectivity trust and then and, and using token format to basically communicate with any platform or any other step you're taking in, in one business relationship. It's uh it's uh you you are in basically yeah and uh, one more thing I just want to say I have used Avocado even though it seems like on paper we're competitors but their service is amazing and you guys are doing an amazing job and when uh, we there are certain people who are talking to them and there are certain uh, contracts and they say, they ask us, would, would you be fine uh, if we send you, because they know uh, we're, we're such a and, and they said, would you be fine with the Avocado contract? I'm like, yeah, totally, they have amazing product, we would love to use them, so, yeah. So with uh, Lever ID, um, our remote identity validation is kind of one of the most innovative parts of our new technology. Uh, in current PKI infrastructure type authentication and signature platforms, you know, the user has some in-person portion of that process, and this is to prove their identity to a state authority before certificates or an identity is generated for them in a known space. And so we utilizing some uh, facial recognition technology to help us remotely identify our users because remote identity validation is definitely the next step and allows a much more comfort that a user could get registered, sign up from their home in the comfort of their own home and staff have to deal with the state uh, organization, but at the same time, uh, it comes with some new challenges to be able to uh, defeat some of the technology problems. Uh, it's one of the simplest things to explain is uh, identical twins. Using facial recognition technology and identical twins creates problems. And there's a lot of those little caveats that uh, exist within the industry that we're working to uh, remediate. So when we look at, um, at the bottlenecks that you face in terms of distribution and widespread adoption, is it, uh, I guess for you guys, it's more on, on, the, on the business um, philosophy and, and business model side, uh, for you it's perhaps more government regulation. Can you put me through with the, what you deal with on a daily basis? Well, for us, we have a lot of regulations and standards within the EU. You know, we have to, uh, we're hoping to become a qualified trust service provider, which requires us to follow EIDIS guidelines and a lot of SD guidelines. So, um, the majority of our product is pretty well regulated with law and inside of the European Union. But our product also plans to do business outside of the European Union. And what we can do there is we can bring those same standards of quality and security in our product to regions of the world where this type of stuff doesn't exist yet. And uh, even though they might not have local laws or local regulations you know, around digital identity or digital, digital signature platforms, uh, we can use that golden standard, which is the EU digital signature. I think we've seen uh, some wider adoptions of, uh, just as, a, as an example, the GDPR, where Brazil and other Latin American countries are now taking this as an inspiration because it doesn't make sense to have a thousand different standards that are dealing with the same problem at the end of the day. But obviously that will help companies like, like those uh, present here on stage uh, today as well. You want to add something? Or? Yeah, I would say that uh, to deal with that, but I have uh, notices that what you do is you, you, you do partnerships uh, with, with, with uh, different companies. I think it's, it's always good to work together and against each other. So uh, that's what we're open to doing and I would love to work with Avocado and we're already in, 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 in talks with the Liver ID. So that's amazing. That's, that's the, I think that's what digitalization brings. Harmony to the world, uh, synergy to the world. So, yeah. I see you nodding a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm just agreeing. <laughs> no, I mean, every day, I mean, with Avocado currently, we don't need uh, to work much with the compliance issues. Uh, we are basically helping our, our customers to onboard them and uh, creating a, uh, this uh, digital uh, 
document permits and, uh, and set up the workflows, integrating data flows, I mean, bringing them back to the business, bringing them business intelligence, doing the really work what matters, not inserting manually uh, data into the different systems, uploading, downloading, and putting your time into very uh, yeah, no value jobs. Perhaps a question to all three of you. What does your average client look like right now? And where do you think there are still a lot of, uh, where, where is there a lot more potential where you think, well, this should be an excellent use case for a product, uh, but perhaps it hasn't picked up yet for one reason or another? Um, for us, our perfect customer right now is any kind of business that needs to validate the identity of the customer that they have and is also looking for a product that can handle creating secure authentication with our applications and secure digital signatures. So we are able to come in, provide that identity management, provide the authentication management, and provide their signature. So that's our ideal customer. For us, uh, our ideal customer is, uh, it, it could be businesses, it could be um, government organizations, NGOs. I think any business, any body, any, any kind of entity that needs their data, their documents safe and secure, like with the highest kind of security, I think they, those uh, businesses, those people, those governments are our uh, clients. Uh, and, and also because right now we're also innovating, as, as I mentioned, data graveyard to data soil. I think this is really important because um, what's going on is that with that data, they'll be able to understand what that data means. You know, like right now it's just, it's just, it's just there, dead. And it need, it's like, like to me, it's like the data is screaming. It's like, just, just do something to me and learn from, from your own mistakes. So uh, in the future, they'll also be benefiting from that as well. But very soon though, very, very soon. Uh, for us, um, uh, our uh, customer base is Basically, I mean, in, in this room, our clients, like we said, but I mean, we are working with the growth companies who are uh, scaling their revenue operation, people operation, uh, legal operation, compliance, and uh, they are mostly uh, working like globally. They are offices around the world, and they need to keep uh, their like functions uh, on the same page, the data, everything in the same place. Like, in the introduction we said we're keeping all this action and even integrating with your guys systems uh, uh, just we need one workspace where everything is running and you can keep up uh, today this reminds me of um, i'm slowly drawing to a close we notice uh, time wise but uh, this reminds me of uh, the previous conversation that i had with robert Yarns on the cross Europe stage for the citizen foundation and sort of the different solutions that uh, we can suggest to sort of advance the goal of the trusted connectivity. To me, in this combination of you three people here on the stage seems like a like an excellent sort of a collaboration uh, area where, where where this could really take place. Uh, so I hope that you will add your solutions uh, to to that uh, table as well, and that the people in the audience will vote on that uh, accordingly. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's a pleasure to share the stage with the three of you. Uh, please give a round of applause to the last panel. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, all right, and this.